said we're going to play about four games they can get a bit draining but i'm trying to replicate the this weekend's tournament that i'm missing and let's go in let's click away let's see what we've got here I think we like to just get rid of the pawns, don't we, and just block this. Whoa! Okay, so they're moving a bit quick, so bring the knight through attacking the queen. Just push this pawn just to maybe meet this pawn if it's deciding at some point to come down. Also opening a dark square bishop. So they're stopping the bishop from coming here. And so we bait a pawn. We like doing that. Let's just bait the pawn. Bring the bishop back here. Okay, nice and steady. There's no rush. Looking to double <coughs> excuse me, double the pawns. I think we can bring the bishop here. Because the knight's protecting this pawn at the minute. Queen's getting blocked, so maybe they're gonna do something, but the knight's not involved. So I'm going to bring the bishop here, and we will castle, I think the knight is jumping in here, we could just bring the bishop here to kind of meet him, because this bishop's not doing anything at the moment, but we are blocking this pawn twice now, the knight is still protecting, so if we bring the bishop here just maybe go and castle now. Take. They're moving really quick. I don't want to fall into any set play tactics type thing because I can't stand tactical play. It's effective, you know, um, if it's done right, and it just you just can't do anything. So now the pushing, maybe I don't know. Maybe the knight should have developed, but hey, does it give space for the bishop at some point? Maybe get the rook here. Maybe push the pawn. What is better? You're getting the knight up. Attack the knight. Seems a bit long winded, doesn't it? Okay, rook. Knight. Knight's a bit more active, sort of. Doesn't give them anything to think about, really. But we can then jump here and attack the knight. The knight doesn't have to take. But then the knight can jump here and attack the bishop. In fact, that's probably where they're going anyway. The knight may be attacking the bishop. Bring the rook out. What's it really doing? Ooh. Well, they've not got their pieces developed out yet. I think we'll go with this, but I think they're going to attack the bishop. We can bring the bishop here. Where's it going after that? Then can they attack the white square bishop? Let's do that. Major. Oh, I was just going to say he may just bring it here, but he's brought that knight there instead. We do have a free pawn. And we do have some out positions that we can come back on. I think we'll take the pawn. Attacking the higher piece. Are we giving the higher piece a good position? Probably so. Tacking, tacking, tacking. Right, okay. We don't need to move fast at these positions looked fairly okay-ish but like I said I don't like falling into tactical type arrangements it might be that they're used to getting these pawns taken off the board but their position is a little bit better in terms of attacking my king area so they've moved the queen supporting the pawn coming down maybe so the bishop can take this pawn. Yes. 
<clears throat> so we can take this pawn. Bishop's currently protecting here. Like we said, we do think this knight's going to be attacking this bishop. Might give them some weight, but currently the knight is attacking here. Don't want to do too much because we get carried away with ourselves. Could keep the x-ray through to the queen. Or bring it back again. Look for this. Maybe not yet. I think just bringing it back might work. The knight still got outs. Keeping the x-ray is okay. It gives them something to think about. They're having to move the queen. Any other magical? Oh, there's a attacking the rook, which has got no defense on, so we'd get a higher piece. So we go here, they take our bishop, we take their rook. Queen takes. Or can we move the bishop? And still go for the no because it'll probably push down onto there. But then if it does that, we've got two pieces attacking the pawn. Don't want to lose the time. So we come here. We have the rook in our sights. Does it get blocked? We come here, he pushes down. We've got two pieces on there, so the knight or the bishop can take. Right, let's do that. We have sights of attacking the rook. Oh, it's going for the knight. Damn it. So it's a higher piece anyway, isn't it? And we won't get we won't get away with it, will we? If we leave the if we did like a knight move here, then they take, we take. And then he can push the pawn and stop the bishop from doing that. I think we're going to go for the higher piece. Yeah, we're going to lose tempo. Yeah, they. I think they realise this. This is why they're moving so fast now. Right, so what's the position like on the board now? Doesn't mean we've won anything because we've got flat rooks. <laughs> I should have bore that in mind before we did the move. And the rooks like open files and there isn't anything open, is there? Ew, might have shot myself in the foot there. If we come here looking to what the knight is protecting. If we just support this pawn. Play a bit of defense, Nanny. Maybe the queen could have come here to attack. So, always for the B pawn. So, the next attack is going to be some sort of attack on the B pawn, isn't it? They're going for the exchange. So, if we, oh, before we move, if we did this, maybe then the rook comes here as well. Got his queen protecting and all sorts of stuff. Let's bring the queen here. What's his knight doing? Oh, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Said the rook coming, didn't we? The queen's already protecting anyway. It's already protected by a pawn. We'll be looking to try and get the B pawn. We need to open up some space for the rooks. For the advantage. So that's one of the key things that we say when the opponents up the exchange is well how do they get in if we keep everything locked down and we don't open any files up the rooks haven't got that power base queen is down so if we take don't think the queen don't think the queen's taking i think he's just going to take here so don't overthink it let's just take it's taken there, right? Now it's probably looking to jump in, maybe, don't know. I don't know. Queen up. 
hit the pawn. Nope, can't do any of that. Queen here. Protecting the pawn. Or a push up. How do we catch a break in this now then? We'll go like this and see if we can get the queen. If that's fast enough, is it? Let's go here. It's a small plan, but his knight probably just comes here, then stops us from doing that. So he's actually attacking us. The knight is hitting these, the queen is hitting here, so it's not like a mate threat. But his queen can come around here, can it? Maybe. Let's just see if there's an exchange or not. Probably not. There's a fork there then, isn't there? Oh, they've gone there as well. Oh, but the fork's no good. The fork's no good because it just puts a check on the king. King moves out the way. And the knight escapes yeah okay fair enough we tried we tried there's a free pawn here oh no what what is that okay let's take now they're just going absolutely crazy they've got more pieces than me you know i hadn't realized that oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I, lo I must have lost something somewhere. Oh, shame, I thought I was up the exchange, but th it's not worked out like that, has it? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's scary. He's got an... <laughs> shame, I thought I was winning. I thought I was winning. Oh my days. I'm nowhere near me winning. Oh my gosh. Now he's just coming for the rook. He's going to get this pawn as well. <gasps> what happened here in this game? Case of the missing piece. I'm, st I'm still struggling to find out where I lost the piece. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Can't even move this up here anyway, because... It's just going to back rank check, maybe. Not going for a draw. Yeah, messed it up, Hunter. Wow. He's got a knight and a rook against me. Unbelievable. <laughs> it happened to you. <laughs> oh, crikey. You wouldn't have to believe it. Shocking, absolutely shocking. I, <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I was doing everything right. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at the analysis after this one. After we take, oh.
Oops, excuse me. I can only move one space. It, isn't it? I can't do anything else. Nope, gonna lose the pawns. Yeah, they haven't left the game. They've gone doing a little bit of a dance now. But it's got ages yet. There's no need, fella. You played really well. Yeah, look, they're back on now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. What can you do? What can you do? <clears throat> well, we have plenty of time to try and circumvent their special skills. I'm just thinking stay away from the knight. It's going to get some magical fork somewhere. Or they get a checkmate with the knight and the rook somehow. Are we safe in this corner? 
Now it comes down. There's no check on the king. Then we can start chasing them around. Looking for the checkmate, only checkmate position, that's what I believe. I believe we have a bit of moments of putting checks on. Do we run out of the checks though? That's the question that's bothering me. But, uh, check on the king. Should be able to get the knight off the board then, shouldn't we? King can't come and defend. Probably goes to attack the rook. Yeah, goes to attack the rook. Suppose then we take. They take. Push. Okay, that'll work. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, no, he can't attack the rook. What am I on about? He's in check. You have to come up. Either way, so it's like we can come here with the check and get the knight off the board yep oh no he's gonna go there with the knight what am i on about oh i just want this game to be over with because um ooh, this is gonna hurt isn't it so the rook comes here if his rook comes down we can take maybe get his rook off the board if the queen takes Oh, but he's going to get our rook. Uh, do we need to be greedy? Oh, that was a bit testy again. Right. Was I looking at the analysis on this one for anything? Let me just have a look. Let me have a look. We'll look more so when see if there's any major dips because they were moving a bit quick in the beginning like in the other game just rattling out the moves like the opening doesn't matter so we baited pawn defended and did oh yeah so we're now sort of looking over egging in that sense but bringing the knight up didn't seem to hurt us so we grabbed the pawn grabbed another pawn doesn't like that one yeah I think we we're being a bit greedy there what's it saying Bishop b4 b4 oh it's going for the rook already going for the rook already okay well we didn't I didn't see it then saw it afterwards Oh, look at that, it's a draw. Eee! Oh! Yeah, so we should have seen that a little bit earlier. And it gave them a bit of an advantage. And their queen move wasn't working. Doesn't like the bishop thing, what was wrong with that? Oh my gosh, right. Yeah, not looking good. Exchanges, no. Oh, it's not looking good at all. Look at that. They are out and out winning. I thought they could get some sort of checkmate thing here in the back of my head. Look at that. Oh, is that where we've... Ah, right. That's where we lost the piece. That was the question, wasn't it? Because at the minute, there's got 
One, two, three, four. No, in fact, it's further back. It's further back. The case of the missing piece. Where is that? Oh, it's that night, you know. It's that night. Is it? So they've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got one, two, three, four. It's that night. Oh my gosh. Oh, the mantra says, don't attack a piece if you've got a piece under attack, unless it's to your benefit. Oh. So we've taken. They're attacking. We bring the bishop back. And then we think we're getting arty by bringing the bishop here. Oh, stupid. Knight move first. That's why I got clouded with the fact of, oh, yes, I'm going to be getting the higher piece. So I, I'm thinking it's an even exchange. Me getting the higher piece and he's taking my uh, lesser piece. But I'm not because our piece is getting taken. Oh, oh, dear me. I was thinking I'm up the exchange. Oh, I just moved the damn knight first. Got impatient with it, didn't I? Oh, big lesson, big lesson. It's in the mantra. Don't attack a piece unless... A, don't attack a piece if you've got a piece under attack. Um, unless, of course, it's to your benefit. And, yeah, we need to just... It's so basic. So how the heck did we claw it back then? That's the key thing, isn't it? I think this was where we realised we were... down <laughs> it was like eh how has this happened so it's minus five at this point in time so really they you know they should be taking us to the cleaners but just looking at the particular movements that they're making it didn't look like they were finding the answers as we can see so we take and then at some point around here, they started flicking. They left the game. And then they came back on again. And then they flicked. And they came back on again. And they hadn't done that throughout the whole of the game until it got to a sticky situation where um, the moves were not clear. Oh, that's a big... That's a big loss, the king there. Let's see what's supposed to happen. D5. E5? In the pawn? I don't know if that makes sense to me. Does he not just take? Then E5, but would, wouldn't a human just take? It's drawish. It's draw land. I would have been happy with the draw because we were a piece down and we didn't know how that happened. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's Absolute losing. Rook takes b6. Oh, yeah, nice one. Right, so draw land. Oh, losing again. Look at that. Big style. Oof. Yeah, king's going backwards. Not happy. Yeah, so the back end of this game, they were kind of out and out winning. And it's back to draw land again. Still draw land, and the king comes down for a greedy munch, and then we can get the queen. We have got the queen before. Hold on. Oh no, the king was there. Oh, excuse me, the king was there. So because the king moved, that gave us that space to actually go for the king, but queen. But we didn't do that straight away. We took the pawn. We only realised when the king moved a little bit further thinking that it's too close but really we should have been able to get the queen then and they're still dancing with some moves yes and we got lucky in that game we got very lucky in that game indeed wow down a piece and didn't realise until it was 
blaringly staring in my face a knight and a rook and I've only got a rook and we had the pawns as well so in a sense that sort of compensation did help us but it wasn't played the best they could have actually cleaned us out in that end game but they didn't so that's two wins in my kind of virtual mini tournament in replacement for the actual over the board tournament that I can't attend this weekend at the lovely lovely venue so we've had two wins and um, sketchy but you know they, we're practicing and um, we're gaining advan gaining advantages and we're learning as we're going as well so I'm, I'm, I'm happy we'll go on to the next one take a little bit of a break first obviously <laughs> 